morning welcome back to another video if you've not been here before my name is Amy I have a, um, a full-size plot in an allotment site that's on the North Kent coast we're quite mild down here but it gets a bit breezy because we're quite near the sea um, and I am looking after this plot and growing from it uh, with the help of my tribe and and my mum so um, today I am going to try and start tackling my fruit cage that I've um, inherited uh, because we're going to grow brassicas in it next year. built it's got um like nice can you see solid metal poles holding up the sides and then it's got this quite wide net on it which protects the couple of bushes that are in here from the birds but um we're going to turn it into a brassica cage um, for planting next year we've got quite a lot of work to do oh there's some rubbish in there hmm. So this part of the plot that the cage is on, uh, we've taken on recently. We um, had half a plot which we got in February this year um, and that's almost where I want it. Over there I've still got to plant, not plant, over there I've still got to build the fruit cage around the gooseberry bushes um, that we've decided to keep and um, there's a couple more beds that need sorting out. Plus I need to put in a new post for the trellis because one of them rotted out. Um, but other than that, I'm quite pleased with where it is. It just needs maintenance, trying to keep the grass down and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm pleased with that side. And on this side, we've started putting in new beds. Um, I've got onions planted, which <laughs> are slowly being weeded and sorted out. And then this fruit cage is the first really, really big job in like this side of the plot a couple of them aren't very well I think this this one is probably going to go completely but um, a couple of them I'll put on like the um, share part of the allotment we just <laughs> I don't want to say dump but we just dump stuff there that we don't want that might be useful for others and like this one's looking looking all right I have no idea what it is it's a current bush of some variety but I uh, I can't eat raw fruit so there's no point having bushes in here that we're just not gonna eat yeah I think the job today I'm gonna try and strim and then um to <laughs> try and get down to the to the uh, grass level and I think that will make it look much nicer as well strim and uh, see if I can dig out a couple of these bushes <sighs> wish me luck taking a breather for a minute all the grass like spray where it's so long messing with my <laughs> messing with my allergies but it's fine we'll do it in little pieces <coughs> I'll show you what I've done so far so I've strimmed in this corner to bring it down a little bit and that's let me see what was in it there was a couple of brambles which I have dug out as I've gone and I've got up to the first current bush um, I'm thinking I might put like a um, along here just like a wooden edge <coughs> and then I can 
mulch in the middle for a path um, before there's another wooden edge on that side. I'm not sure exactly, but I think that's quite sensible to have wooden edges because I like raised beds. I might have a hunt, see if there's anything I can find to maybe use. Um, yeah, let's, let's have a look. Right, I think the next job is going to be that bad boy there. <laughs> I'm going to try and dig it out, get it on the share table, although my plot neighbour looked fairly interested in it. Um, there's definitely one that needs to come out, so I'm going to get digging and uh, yeah, try and make a bit more space in here. It did come out in pieces and it came in about four different bits so I don't know if any of them will be any use to anybody. A sweat. At least I'm cut off really, but then I'm worried I'm gonna to get too cold. So I've done one side of what was the fruit cage. I actually managed to dig out all the bushes without the boys' help. Winner. Um, some of them have come out in pieces, <laughs> but all those pieces have got roots on. Someone might want them. But look, I think you can see where I've been. I know it needs a lot more work, but you can see where I've been at least. So, so it's much better than it was I mean it's still really really grassy these are going to be no dig beds so once again it'll be wood around the edges I'll probably have to find a way to attach them to these poles maybe like holes and cable ties which are the boys favorite it's tall um, to keep any height like around the edges in um, and then I'm gonna do it almost like a keyhole so I'm gonna have a path going up the middle here but stopping before we get to the end so we will have like a like a, a cross bit there and yeah and we'll have like a big u-shaped bed in here I mean you can see the other side that I've not touched add up one <laughs> so, yeah still quite a lot to go pleased with it though I'm uh, wondering whether to try and carry on it's quite satisfying I have no idea what the time is I'm probably expected home but I might I might carry on now I'm in the groove and uh, have a go at, at carrying on digging. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and get some um, cardboard or paper down and um, put like some mulch before it all disappears um, down in the middle just to uh, just to make it look better and to make it easier to walk on when uh, when it turns into a bog oh, I can't see it it's lovely and bright and sunny oh, it's right in my eyes 
Right, I'm going to try and get some paper down and then no, I think I'm going to call it a day today. Oh. Right, well I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.